Hey and welcome to the Art Lab, my name is Andy and today we're going to be using this vase to put resin and alcohol ink to create something spectacular. Now in my previous video you would have seen me build this turner. So this is a tumbler turner. I've actually had to pat it out a little bit here because I didn't have a football, you know one of those sponge footballs. So to get the vase to go on I just needed a little extra padding for it to fit on properly. So let's dive in and we'll go through and put some resin and then some alcohol ink to see what we can create. We need to make it easy for the black spray paint to stick to this vase so we need to do that great thing called the sanding. They say sanding is a bit like a good cup of coffee. It takes time, effort and a little bit of grit to just get it right. Once that sanding is completed, it's time for spray paint psh, 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 and all done. And the next step is to put some resin and then we'll play around with some alcohol ink. It's a little bit tight but you need to make sound for this one. I'm spreading resin over this vase like it's the world's most artsy sandwich. It's important to have an even coat of resin across the whole vase. This is important for allowing the alcohol ink to spread out properly once we apply that. Oh yeah, it's time to get tipsy and get the party started. This is where we bring out the alcohol ink and we drip that across the resin. First off you put your colour and then we're going to put some white. I think the white that I used was just a little bit too heavy and that's a good learning experience for me because it didn't mix as well as I hoped. But uh, you know, here's a start. Watch along as we go and drop some of that white and then it's time to get the heat on and get the heat gun out to blow some of that resin around. The heat is on, do, 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 on the street, or actually on the vase. So just get that heat on to the um, alcoholic areas and blowing it around a bit. Uh, the heat makes the resin that's already on the vase a little bit more runny and this means we can mix those colours a bit better. Now look I'm not an expert at this, I'm still learning like everyone else and uh, I've got a long way to go but it's a good start so uh, it's all about experimenting here in the art lab and that's what we're doing we're just experimenting to make some of that color and you can see on screen there that resin moving around and it's starting to mix with the different colors from the alcohol and the ink that's already on the vase <laughs> fast forward mode once I had my first mix of alcohol inks on the vase I decided I wasn't 100% happy, so I'm just adding a little bit more to try to get a bit more of a pattern onto the vase. And actually that brings up an important question, is it vase or vase? Vase or vase? Hmm, put the comments below on how you think the pronunciation is. Put one for vase, two for vase. So the tumbler turner kept going for about four hours, that was enough time for that resin to harden up and then the next day I actually took it off the tumbler turner and this is the final result. I think the next one that I do with alcohol ink I'll do a lighter base colour so probably a white and then see how the colour pops in that one and play around with blowing the alcohol ink around on the resin. Thanks for joining me in the art lab today I hope you enjoyed this video if this is something that you enjoy please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to become a subscriber. Subscribers help me grow my channel and that helps the algorithm spread it out to even more people. So until next time, thanks for watching, stay safe and keep creating.